While Tulsa County has the most meth lab busts in the state, the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics expects to see more than 900 busts statewide by the end of this year. Getting rid of the state income tax, a local lawmaker wants it done over a 10-year period, starting with the biggest cut next year. Two News reporter Jason Grubbs joins us live from the Tax Commission. Jason, not everyone at the Capitol is on board with this idea. No, they certainly aren't, Karen. In fact, a lot of lawmakers think this, this could actually be kind of devastating to Oklahoma's future. Others think that this makes the state pretty competitive. Right now, 5.5% of everything you earn in Oklahoma belongs to Oklahoma. But there's a growing interest in getting rid of the state income tax. Like state it. Representative David Derby says such a move could make Oklahoma more competitive. We're saying to the world, we're open for business in the state of Oklahoma. Representative Derby requested a bill be started for the upcoming legislative session. He doesn't want to cut government services, and he doesn't want to raise other tax rates or introduce new forms of taxation. Instead, he's suggesting modifications to the current tax code and streamlining the government. We found that there are certain agencies that had 335 employees for IT when they only needed 35. So those type of figures are out there. It's just whether or not we have the willingness to go out and attack it and, and say that you know, state government shouldn't be the largest employer in the state. Senator Tom Adelson says Oklahoma is actually one of the smallest governments in the nation. He's worried about what would happen if the income tax was eliminated. I'd hate to see it replaced with a regressive tax that uh, perhaps a sales tax or use tax that uh, hits working families a lot harder. Senator Adelson also says such a move could destroy future investments in health care, education, roads. We have a very business friendly state, but we have challenges because our public infrastructure simply doesn't measure up to states that we compete with. It's a debate that's been going on for years at the Capitol, and we'll learn in the upcoming session if that fight will keep going or come to an end. And Oklahoma's not the only uh, state in the nation that's thinking about something like this. Kansas and our neighbor up to the northeast in uh, Missouri, lawmakers up there also thinking plans, uh, th considering plans for their states as well. What a live from downtown Tulsa tonight, Jason Grubbs, 2 News, works for you.